love Hero Magnus, and I've wanted to go to Mars since the age of two. I just think it so, would be so amazing to be out there looking on those stars that you've seen from puny little Earth. So, hey, Hero. How are you? Great. How are you? I'm good. Are you excited to, to be here today? Yes, I can't believe it. It's awesome, but I think that it's just the beginning. I think something big is happening for space, and I, I want to keep the vision alive for going to space. I know that there's a lot of studying um, involved with being an astronaut, and I'm completely up to it, and I love it, but I do have a ways to go with that. When she was about two, she saw an IMAX movie. Um, there was an IMAX Mars movie when she was about two. Were you two and a half, two? I think I was just... She was really little, and she said, I want to be the first girl on Mars, and then later it became the first woman on Mars, and then it became the first person on Mars, so she's very serious. I'm really excited that I'm in here, and I think that I'll learn a lot from this debate. This is what we need, and this is one of the reasons why we should go to Mars, okay? Because we want to tell the younger generation that they've got a chance to be pioneers and makers of new worlds. I gave him a copy of the letter um, that I've been passing around to a couple, to a couple senators and a lot of congressmen to keep the vision alive for us. Oh, no, I read the letter. It's a great letter. And she's done more than write this letter. She's gone and met with uh, 18 congressmen. 18 congressmen and two senators. And two senators. Okay, and they. This is the message they need to get. Are you excited about the debate tonight? What? Are you oh yes. About the debate tonight? We're both very yeah, well, excited. Well, we have a, a a very serious situation in the space program right now. It's been completely set adrift. Uh, the new Obama policy abandons any goal for human space flight. If it's accepted, we're going to spend the next 10 years and 100 billion dollars, and at the end of it, be no better prepared to send humans to Mars than we are today. They have created a very fluid situation, uh, but. Uh, their current policy is defective. Uh, they say that they want Mars to be the goal, but not now. And they are actually canceling the development of heavy lift boosters, which are absolutely necessary to go to Mars. So they're talking the talk, but not walking the walk.